before we get there. But amen. So we're going to come with uh, John 17. And I'll go ahead and start at one, but I'm really with three tonight. Okay. But it says, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And three, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. And again, I want to say again, I want to highlight this, that they may know you. Okay, let's stop the share real quick. We're going to change the view here. And that they may know you. That is so profound to me, guys, because that they may know you. How do you get to know someone? Okay, how do you, you have to learn that person to get to know that person. Okay, so if we are to know God and we are supposed to learn, learn him, who do we look at for that example? And that is Jesus who was God in the flesh. So we have to get to know Jesus. So how do we do that? We look at his life and how he lived when he walked the earth. By that, we will start to get to know him. But I, I don't want to go too far here. Hold on a second. Hold on. So in the Old Testament, God gave us the Ten Commandments. He gave us guidelines for tithing and offering. He gave us rules for marriage, divorce, the Sabbath, among a lot of other things. But these things start showing us how he wanted us to conduct ourselves. But it wasn't until Jesus walked the earth that we begin to really know God's heart. Okay? The way Jesus did things just did not line up with the rules. Okay, he healed people on the Sabbath when we were supposed to be resting. He sat and ate with sinners when they were considered untouchables. And to top it all off, he gave mercy when he was supposed to pass judgment. If we remember um, the woman uh, who was caught in the issue of adultery, I should say, who was caught in adultery and they uh, threw her down there in front of them, uh, in front of him. And the way he passed judgment blew everybody's mind. Because what did he say? He asked her where her, her, her accusers, and of course, everybody knows the story with that. But the part I want to get to is that he said, neither do I accuse you. Go and sin no more. So where he was supposed to pass judgment, because that's what the law said, he gave mercy. And here's the thing with that. So many times we pride ourselves as Christians on crossing our T's and dotting our I's, telling someone when they're wrong, not hanging out with the unclean, that we forget to love them. We forget that God is a God of mercy and grace. We forget that we didn't get the punishment that we were supposed to get because he didn't forget to love us. He didn't forget that we were made from the dirt and we would need mercy and grace. He didn't forget with us that, yeah, you know what? I know she was speeding down that highway. And she shouldn't have been when the road conditions were like that. Yes, I know the accident should have killed her. But because I love her, she's going to walk out of the car with not a scratch on her. Yeah, I know she shouldn't have got in that relationship. No, she shouldn't have. 
Yes, I know she should have listened to me when I told her time and time again not to get in that relationship. So she ended up in it and she ended up getting abused. Yes, I know. But you know what? I'm going to touch her mind. I'm going to touch her heart. And she's going to wake up. And I'm going to give her a revelation. And once she gets it, she's going to repent. And I'm going to bless her with a whole new relationship that's going to blow her mind. And why does he do that? Because he love, he doesn't forget to love us. Yeah, you know what? I know she went off on her boss when she wasn't supposed to. Her heart was in the right place because yes, her boss was wrong, but she should have shut her mouth. She should have been respectful. And yes, she should have lost her job. But you know what? Because I love her. I'm going to let her keep her job. See, we're so bent on crossing the T, dotting the I. We're so bent, really, religious people are so bent on following the law that they forget the grace and mercy that Jesus walked in when he was here. How many times did he pass judgment on a sinner? You saw him sitting and eating with him. Now, I didn't say he became them. But he didn't pass them off like he was too good for them. Why? Because he, he didn't forget to love them. But so many times we want to pass judgment or we only want to reward people when they are good to us. If we go to a restaurant and the server gives us bad service, oh no, I'm not rewarding bad service. She's not getting a tip tonight. But we had no clue that she may have had a bad situation that happened at home. She could have just got told she had cancer. Now she don't know what to do because she got three kids. But we so figured, we so bent on not rewarding for bad service, we forgot to love her. We forgot to say, you know what? It's okay, she gave me bad service. I don't know what she had to deal with today. I'm gonna tip her anyway, and maybe she might get a good attitude and feel like she's loved. Don't forget to love them. And that is so powerful to me because a lot of times we as Christians, we get so uh, religious and we get so zealous of about being right that we forget that we're supposed to love too. We forget that the top commandment is to love God and to love others as ourselves. What's the common denominator? Love. You would think the way religious people think that the common denominator would be punishment. You know, but it's not. Common denominator, love. Don't forget to love them. When you are faced with a situation uh, around somebody that has done you wrong or faced with a situation where you know that you have to tell somebody they are not right, don't forget to love them. Because he doesn't forget to love you. Because there are so many times where you should have got this, but you got it. There are so many times where you should have got this, but you got it because he didn't forget to love you. But we don't, we forget to love his people. We forget to love them. We're so busy hitting them over the head with the Bible that we forget to love them. Yes, they're wrong. Yes, this is, but you know what? You could be wrong five minutes from now. But here's the thing. Don't forget to love them. We get grace every day, people. But you know what's about grace? We get grace that we don't even know anything about. I couldn't tell you how many times God has looked out for me when I wasn't even paying attention. I should have hit five things in the road, okay? Because I wasn't paying attention. And he just swerved my car to the other side. I don't even know how this happened. He didn't forget to love me. How many times have you been disobedient? And you know good and well, you should have got this or you should have got that or somebody was doing something or robbing somebody. 
but one of the friends got caught and you didn't, and you know it should have it should have been you. But he decided to give you grace. He didn't forget to love you. This is what I want to leave with people tonight. And not that I'm done, but this keeps ringing in my spirit that so many of his people are acting religious, but they are forgetting to love. They want to be so right, but being right is walking in love. How many times when Jesus walked the earth did he pass judgment on those who were wrong? The only time he really passed judgment on somebody is when somebody was saying that they were so right. And that was the Sadducees and the Pharisees. But the ones who everybody said was wrong, he showed them love. The ones who everybody thought were so unclean. He walked with them and carried them and healed them and loved them. He didn't forget to love. When he casted out spirits and demons, they, you couldn't stop them from running up against him. You would have thought he took the Bible and said, you are wrong, do this, 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 this. He did none of that. He showed them love and he couldn't get them away. That's how you draw them, with love. If you, are, if you know somebody who was caught in sin and they think they are so right, love them before you correct them. Show them meet a need. If you see they're caught in sin, but they're also hungry, you know what? They may not need to know this part right now. Why don't you buy them some food? Show them love. Show them that you care before you want to correct. Don't forget to love them. And the same way that this is ringing in my spirit tonight, I want it to ring in your spirit. So that the next time that we're talking to someone or we're trying to reach someone, we are not going to reach someone by beating them upside the head with the Bible. We don't want to reach someone that make making them feel like we we are more than them. We want to reach them with this and not this. He doesn't forget to love us. Think about how many things we deserve right now. If I think about everything that I deserve right now, I should not be preaching to you tonight. Now, I, I'll tell the truth, <laughs> okay? I don't have to wait on anybody to step up and testify. I will testify myself. I shouldn't be preaching to you. But because he said, I'm worth it. Because he said, this is what I've called you to do. This is why I can talk to you. But the same knee that you got to bend on is the same knee I got to bend on. And I can't forget to love either. Because the same love that I want him to give me, I must give to the ones he loves as well. Because this is how, as the scripture says, we get to know him. This is who God is, love. This is how you have a personal relationship with him. You start learning how to love. You don't forget to love them. How many times did he correct people when they came up to him and said, I did this, I did this, and I did this. He said, that's all good, but what about this? You know what? He cares how you treat people. I promise you he does. Why? He loves them. There are people right now who should probably be locked up under the jail for everything that they have done, but they are not. Because he loves them. 
He is full of grace. He is full of mercy. How many of you guys should be have punishment right now, but he showed grace and mercy? I love him because he doesn't forget to love me. So I want to know how to love. That's how I get to know God is when I know how to love because that's who he is. He's all about the love. Does he like it when you sin? Of course not. But he doesn't forget to love you. When my son does something wrong, yeah, he may get a pop pop. But after that, you know what I'm saying? Baby, there's some chocolate milk in there if you want some chocolate milk. Come over here and give mama a kiss because mama want to kiss you. I don't forget to love him. God corrects. He disciplines, but he never forgets to love. And if, I don't know if anybody else has had any issues with their love walk on tonight, or if they need a little refresher, but that was a real good refresher for me. And especially as a leader, because as leaders, we're supposed to guide, we're supposed to direct, we're supposed to encourage and lift up, but we also have to watch how we do that because we can come off like uh, very sarcastic or we can come off very mean, not trying to, but we can come off that way. So we have to steadily remember that we can't forget to love. And you guys may not be on a pulpit, but you may be heads of something else. And you can be wearing your job and your family and a friendship, no matter. Don't forget to love people. Now, I know my message is a little short tonight. <laughs> but when I was talking uh, earlier, um, I guess that's what God wanted me to give there too. So he kind of combined it a little bit there. But you know what I love about him? He will change up anything for his people. Whatever you need at that moment, he will touch his servant to give to you. Because as my mother says, which I love, we are Jesus' arms and legs. We are his mouth. And a lot of times we can be his heart if we love right. So. That's my thing on tonight, and I hope everybody got something from it. And see, it didn't even last long, right? That's good, right? <laughs> but it is, it is really awesome, guys. And um, God is so good. And I, of course, you know me, I, I'm the one that's always trying to, I want to do this right, I want to do that right. But I, you know what I don't do? I'm not going to forget to love myself. Because we can do that too. Sometimes we forget to love us. Because don't forget, just like he loves your neighbor, he loves you too. So don't forget to love you as well. Now that's what I had tonight. Did anybody have anything they wanted to share on tonight? <laughs> I see my mom, she's just now logging in here. <laughs> and it's already over. I think. Go ahead, Shola. I know I came in kind of toward the end, but just hearing what you what you were talking about, and it made me. And I don't even know what you said before that, but it made me think of how Jesus dealt with the woman caught in adultery. We talked about that. Okay, mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. wasn't there. Mm -hmm. That's right, girl. Dead wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But she it took <laughs> being at the very biggest price, the consequences of what she had done, what she was caught in. Mm -hmm. Um God didn't 
Jesus did not accuse her right then and there. Mm -hmm. He said, where do your accusers go? Mm -hmm. Well, they're, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't accuse you either. Mm -hmm. But he also said, go and, and sin, sin no more. No more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't yeah. say, girlfriend, can't believe what you did. You this, this, <laughs> this, and that. Mm -hmm. You need to turn it around because you just about got yourself killed. Yes. You got grace right now, but you've been, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. All he said was, go and sin no more. And you know what, Strella? He didn't forget to love her. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm telling you, I don't know why that just rings in my spirit tonight. Don't forget to love them. And I just, you know, from what he's giving me, as far as the word on tonight with that is so many people are forgetting to love. So many people are acting religious. So many people are acting like they're better than the next person that they are forgetting to love them. Because if truth be told, Jesus was better than all of us, but he still came down here and loved on us. He still came down here and walked with us. He still ate with the sinners, the tax collectors and everybody else. He did not forget to love us, you know? And that's <laughs> what gets me is that I have to remember to love, you know? Don't forget to love them. Don't be a religious person. That's just all about the law. Should you follow the law? The law is a good rule of conduct a way of uh, conducting yourself, yes. Are you going to mess up? Yes, okay? I'm already gonna tell you, even if you haven't messed up until now, tonight I'm telling you, you're gonna mess up, okay? But that's okay, you know why? He doesn't forget to love us. So remember that, the next, like I said, the next time we're talking to someone, the next time that we're trying to correct someone, or the next time we feel like we're better than the next, don't forget to love because that's how he drew you, with love. 